In this video, I'm gonna go over exactly how you can create a Wikipedia page just like this one for you or for your business. Before I start though, there are a couple of things you need to keep in mind. The first one is that Wikipedia is an extremely competitive space, so creating a page is not an easy task. You will need significant media coverage both online and offline for you or for your business in order to qualify. This means you and your business need to be notable. If your page is not sustained by relevant sources or it's not notable according to Wikipedia standards, it will be removed in just a couple of days. Wikipedia has a very active team of moderators that constantly monitor all the pages that are created or edited, so they won't miss any new pages published or edits made on older pages. So to recap, first of all, your page needs to have strong and credible references about you or your business. Secondly, you need to make sure that you're notable, which means you need significant online and offline media coverage. And third, you need to make sure that the page you're writing meets all Wikipedia's guidelines. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do all of that. And in the end, I'll tell you how you can outsource this task to a Wikipedia editor. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So first things first is to create an account on Wikipedia. What you do is go to wikipedia.org, you click on the English one, which will redirect you to in.wikipedia.org and you click on create an account. So you fill all this in and you create your account. I already have one, so I'm gonna log in. Now that you're logged in and before you click here on sandbox, which is where you can create your page, you're gonna click on preferences, then editing and then editing mode and click on show me both editor tabs. This will allow you to have the more technical editor and an easier one called the visual editor. And now you can go to sandbox. So again, this is where you can create your page. Now on here, and because we went to our preferences and chose to be able to see both editors, you can click on this pencil icon and change between source editing or visual editing. The visual editor is more user friendly and if you're not very familiar with HTML, I'd recommend you go with this one. Now as an example, I'm gonna create a Wikipedia page for myself. So the first thing you do is you write, for example, in my case, my name and set it as a header. And this will serve as a title for your page later on. So we do heading. And again, if you were to be choosing the source editing, you do this a bit different. So as you see here, to make an H1, you type this before and after your text. Again, we'll go with the visual editor because it's way easier to understand. And then we can, of course, write a bit more about me here, which I'll make it magically appear right now. And there we go. Please keep in mind, this is just a small example for this video. One of the most, if not the most important thing when creating Wikipedia page for any entity, whether that's a person, a business or a product, are citations and references. And not just for the entity itself, in this case me, Vasco, but also for every single claim you make on your page. For instance here, his parents are both teachers at Instituto Superior Técnico, a well-known Portuguese engineering university. And this is where you go ahead and create a citation. You just click where you want to add it and click cite. Okay, got it. And then here, what you're gonna do is insert a link for where this is said. Of course, you can't just create a blog and talk about this. Citations and references must come from authoritative sources. That's why it's not extremely easy to get a Wikipedia page approved because most people that try to create Wikipedia pages don't have sources or strong sources to back their claims up. In this case, this is an easy enough source to back up because IST or Institute Superior Technique is a very well-known Portuguese engineering university. But you'll find that sometimes it won't be that easy. What you do then is insert here the URL to back this up. Ideally, a new source or again, a link from an authoritative source. There we go. If you want to add a citation that's not found online or through a URL, you can do a manual citation. For instance, from a book or a news article. Now to create a reference list for the citations you placed, what you do is you go to insert, then click on more, then click on reference list. And this will be a list of all the citations you reference throughout your page. One of the main things that makes Wikipedia such a great platform are the links to both internal and external sources. Here's how to create an internal link. For instance, here for the country of Portugal, you just select the word and then click here. Okay, got it. And then as you can see here, Wikipedia will automatically suggest some articles inside Wikipedia, which you can link to. In this case, we'll choose the first one because we're referencing to the actual country of Portugal. You just click it and then you're done. Again, anything you highlight here and click link, if Wikipedia has a page for it, it will suggest it automatically. Now, if we wanna to link to external sources, for instance here, let's say we have an article about me on this uh, newspaper. What you do is you click, double click it, you click here, and then external site. And then you insert here the URL, in this case, HTTPS Forbes.com forward slash and the article name. And that's how you link for external sources. As you can see here, it has the icon for external link. Now, after this, you're ready to publish your page. You click on publish, and then you'll always be asked to describe what you did. 
either when you're creating a new page or editing an old one, you'll always need to describe the changes you made. This is so other Wikipedia editors can see what was done and either approve or refuse your changes. In this case, I'm just gonna type that I created an article in the sandbox and then hit publish page. Now, as you can see here, your page is published and is in the sandbox, as you can see here. Now, here's how to move your article from the sandbox to the main space. It's important to understand that for this account, which was created yesterday, I cannot move articles to the main space. The requirements to move articles and pages to the main space is at least a four day old account and 10 edits made on that same account. And what I mean by edit is where you go to a Wikipedia page and make some sort of edit to that same page that is approved. So for instance, let's say we went to a page about this person right here. We could maybe edit the page right here, for example, add something else. Uh, she was a very good cook. Of course, we'd need to cite that, wherever that was found. And then we'd hit publish changes. Of course, this change won't get approved because this is nothing that is relevant to this page. And this page is already super detailed and super complete. But this is just an example to show you what an edit is. So again, to be able to move your page from the sandbox to the main page, you need to have at least a four day old account that has made a minimum of 10 edits. And there will be a button here that says move. You click it and you move it to the main space. Now you can also ask a more experienced editor to move your page to the main space, someone that has an older account that's more authoritative. And what I mean by this is uh, Wikipedia accounts that have several years, that have made several edits with success, and that have created several pages are viewed as an authority and they can make almost any change. So what you can do is you can hire some of those experienced editors to do this for you. And I'm not just talking about the part of moving your page from the sandbox to the main page, I'm talking about the part of writing the actual page. Because producing a well-written Wikipedia page is not an easy task. It's not just about writing whatever you want. You need to know both what to write in your page and how to write it. You need to know when to reference citations and when not to. You need to know which types of citations are accepted and which type of citations are not. And this is a very time consuming process that also takes a lot of time to understand how to do properly. And I can almost assure you that your first Wikipedia page won't be written the right way and will most likely be refused. So what I recommend you do is go to vetted.com, which is a marketplace that I own. I'm gonna be fully transparent about it, where you can hire experienced marketers to, for instance, in this case, create Wikipedia pages for you. This is a marketer I've been working throughout the years. His name is Hillary as you can see down here. And what he does is he'll create a Wikipedia page for you. So as you can see here, fully optimized. So this is not that easy to do. And he goes ahead and does it for you. He can create either international pages, for example, on the Portuguese Wikipedia or full English Wikipedias. As you can see here, he has two packages, one for international ones. So for example, the Spanish Wiki or the French one or even the Greek one, or if you want a full English one, he can also do that for you. So if you need to outsource this work or if you have a client that needs a Wikipedia page fast, I recommend you do it and outsource it to this uh, person right here, to Hillary. Again, as I said, I've created several Wikipedia pages through him. He's a great guy. He knows what he's doing. He's been a Wikipedia page copywriter for a long, long time and he knows what he's doing. So again, if you need to outsource it, make sure to go to vetted.com and then either uh, search for Wikipedia here on the top bar and click this one or just go to the homepage and search for it. And that's it. That's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week.